Hey guys, it's Keith. I want to get a quick video in here. I got some uh, soft loops in the mail the other day from a company that contacted me through um, my Facebook page. Um, my understanding is they've contacted quite a few people. They're actually out of their uh, polymer belt loops right now, but they do have two different sets of, uh, of soft loops here. And for the most part, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with them, although I've uh, myself have never wore uh, soft loops. Uh, as far as appendix carry, I got a little spare tire in the way there, so uh, that doesn't work out too well for me. Um, but I would like to try these at about, I don't know, say the 3.30, 4 o'clock position. I uh, just haven't had a chance to get them on uh, one of my holsters yet. Uh, but I will be doing that soon. So this video here is pretty much going to be an, an initial impressions video. Um, and so far I would give them probably about an 8 out of 10. Um, they're uh, pretty sturdy feeling. Uh, they look really good. And um, I, I'm, I'm anxious to see how they, they hold up. So I'm going to turn the camera around here and uh, kind of show you why I'm, I'm giving them an 8 out of, out of 10 and, uh, and my thoughts on them. So... Let's get the camera around and um, show you what we think. All right, guys, so here we go. We got the camera turned around, and um, I'm going to give you my initial impression here on these. I said I just got them in the mail the other day, so I haven't thrown them on any holsters and got to try them out any. So uh, this is just my thoughts on them straight out of the bag. Um, I didn't get a set of the polymer loops. Those are supposed to be done the 10th of this month. And uh, I hope to get my hands on a couple sets of them. Uh, I want to I want to check the quality of them uh, throughout their sizes. I, I know I offer a uh, say an inch and a half, inch and three quarter, and two inch loops. And I just you know I, I want to make sure the um, the holes throughout are you know they are equal quality uh, throughout all three sets. And all the dimensions are the same. They're not going to vary any. So um, it'd be nice to uh, move away from belt loops and just be able to concentrate on on holsters. So, uh, but anyway, uh, the one I'm going to show you first is just your standard IWB uh, soft loop. Here they are constructed with the pull the dot buttons. They will only come undone from the top. You have to push them from there to get them to come undone. They did come with all the hardware. Um, you said they won't come undone from the bottom here where your belt's going to be. Um, they do have good materials with them. Um, I mean, other than that, it's your standard um, IWB soft loop. The only issues that I have and uh, the reason I'm I guess I'm giving them an initial initial grade of 8 out of 10 is the uh, the corners I wished were kind of profiled kind of rounded it looks like they've just been cut one right after another cut 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 um, you know, which I understand in the manu manufacturing process, you know, you want to get as many turned out as you can. Um, but I just wish that, you know, they kind of had somewhat of a, of a profile there. And as you can see on this one, I believe three out of the four that I received, the ends weren't completely sealed. You can see that little fray there. You can see the material on the inside of the soft loop is uh, poking out there. Uh, you know, I'm sure that's an easy fix with just a soldering iron or, a, you know, a wood burning gun or I don't know if you'd want to take a lighter to it, but um, I just wish that they'd come from the manufacturer, you know, completely sealed or you didn't have to worry about that. I'm not sure how much that will affect the life of the loop, but uh, it is something that I, you know, wish was corrected from the manufacturer. Um, but anyway, that's your standard IWB soft loop there. Now the other ones they sent, I'm going to try to incorporate some pictures here from their website and possibly their Facebook page. Maybe the same pictures, I'm not sure. 
Um, but these here, as you can tell, they have two buttons on them. Now these are, if I'm not mistaken, designed to be worn solely as a outside the waistband belt loop. And the way that works is now this this holster is for a XD uh, subcompact, so it's not really designed <laughs> for what I'm uh, about to demonstrate here, but this is just for demonstration purposes. Um, what you'll do is you see they have three holes on the back that you can adjust depending on the width of your belt. What you're going to do is you're going to attach one to the bottom uh, after you've determined which one is going to best fit you. And then at the top on the back of the holster, you're going to put a button that faces backwards. Now, um, if I do start offering these, you know, the holes are going to be a half inch apart. And what you're going to do is you're going to have a, a button that faces backwards, and then on the front, kind of staggered off one hole, you're going to have a button that faces forward. And then what you do is the first button that you come to is going to attach on the back. And then that's going to give you your loop to run your belt through. And then as added security, this button comes around front and actually attaches to the other button. So like I said, it just kind of gives you a little, uh, maybe a little extra peace of mind, a little added security that if this button on the back does come undone, well, you've still got one more in the front that is going to hold your holster and your weapon. Uh, it's going to keep it with you. So that's kind of neat. Uh, I really haven't seen anybody else doing this design. I'm not saying that they're not doing it. I just haven't seen it. Um, so that's something I thought was neat. They are supposed to be a lot more comfortable. Uh, but like I said, I haven't got a chance to put these on a holster yet and wear them around. Um, not that I'm I'm doubting it, but it just I don't I don't know. I, it, I'm worried that the holster with soft loops on an OWB style holster is going to allow the, the the holster to move uh, when you go to draw your weapon. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to do a full review. I'm going to wear them around for a little bit, um, maybe get out and do some drills with them. I'll try to get some videos of that, kind of show you how they work, let you know how they're holding up. So, But that's it, guys. Um, I've got these two sets right now. Um, like I said, I hope to get my hands on some of their polymer loops and do a review on those. Um, I really have... <laughs> High hopes that uh, they're good quality uh, polymer loops. I did ask them if they were made out of Kydex, and their response was that they were polymer. So I, I'm, I want to see how thick they are, um, and I'm just I'm going to try to put them through the ringer uh, and, and try to try to make sure that they're going to hold up if I'm going to start putting them out with my holsters. So. But as soon as I get my hands on those, I'll do another initial uh, video and then get you out some uh, full reviews on them. Um, there you go, guys. Uh, if you got any questions, comments, leave them below. Send me an email. Please rate, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Uh, help me out. Help me get some more views here. And uh, I'm going to try to start pumping out some more videos for you. So there you have it. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you on the next round.